In this video, I made a scratch game with zero sprites. Watch it to the end to see how I did it. So I'm gonna delete Scratchy, and I cannot add any other sprites into this project. I'm gonna go into the backdrop. And my initial plan is to make kind of Friday Night Funkin game. You'll see what I mean. This video is gonna contain a lot of drawings, so I may as well just skip that. So here's my plan. I'm gonna make a box. I'm gonna give it a light of 10. This is a bit of a thick boy. I'm gonna put him somewhere down here, give you time to react. I'm gonna zoom on here and make him round. Something like that looks alright, but I'm gonna come back when I'm finished. Okay, something like this could do. As you can see, you're gonna have to use the left, the right, and the up arrow. I'm gonna name it default, and now I'm gonna create all the sprites, and this is gonna be painful. Finish all the backgrounds for one singular click, so I'm gonna do a bit of the coding first. When start, switch to backdrop, default, and even spell it right, dude, I'm so stupid. Anyway, I'm going to forever, if, space down, and equal, put that on there like this. Backdrop number, number 16, because that's when it's fully on here. Then I'm going to make a variable, score, and then I'm going to set score to zero. I'm gonna change score by one, and then wait until not space. So, now if I do one click, clicked, I'm gonna wait a second, and then I'm going to do next backdrop, and I'm going to repeat this 19 times, because there are 20 in total but i already have the default so let's go check this out this could be really really fast but i don't really know oh my god that was fast okay 0 0.1 seconds and look at that i got a score of one but now if i hit it nothing and then one perfect it's already going great but now i'm going to add some pity points so that means that even if it's 17 or 15 then you're gonna get i'm actually gonna change the score if it's perfect you get 20 if it's 15 you get 5 or 17 you get 5 and then also as you can see here we, we're gonna have a problem i can just I can do that, and I can get the maximum of 35 points, which is not the maximum, but we can get plenty of points. So, I'm going to make another one. Already click left. I'm going to set already click left to no. I'm going to set already click left to yes in all of these. So, right click duplicate, right click duplicate. I'm going to get rid of that one second. So, wait until not key space. I'm just going to do and equals all right click no. So, I'm actually going to get rid of the space and just see if the all right click no works. So, I'm going to get rid of these. Right click duplicate all these guys in here. So, now I can't click it again. Perfect. But if we're gonna have multiple of these, I'm gonna need to reset it. So I'm gonna do wait until equals 18 backdrop number. And we're gonna set, all right, click to now again. So I think it should work. No, it's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna do this, to be honest. One green fly click, and then wait until, and then no. So now if I spam it, it's not gonna give me an extra point, which is perfect. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And now I need to set this to the left arrow key, because I don't, know, I don't even know why I put it to space. So now it should work perfectly. And now I'm gonna make a lot more backdrops, and I'll be back when I'm finished. This is gonna take a while. So now that I have like 53 backdrops, let's continue to do this. I set to 52, and now I just want to like watch it go. Not terrible. I think I saw too much of a skip somewhere. Hold on. Alright, that should be good. Set this to 53. And actually, I think a better idea would be repeat drop number. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So 53 it is. And so now I'm gonna have to create the middle. So right click duplicate, change you to up, up, up. And I'm going to make already click up. I'm gonna have to change all that to that. So now I need to figure out what frame they need to go on. So 31, 32, 33, pretty sure. Yep, that's a good. But just real quick, I have to make it so every time you don't click one, you should like lose some score. So I click duplicate, get rid of all of this, and just leave the if up or right or left arrow press. Then if I right, click up equal no or R equal left, no. Then change score by negative 10, then wait until not up arrow, right arrow, or left arrow. And so I'm pretty sure that works. So if I go up here, I click once, and then I do one, two. You can see it went up and then went back down. So I'm pretty sure that means it works. I may need to do a couple bugs testing but you know chill for now but now i need to make it so we can do more of these so i'll be right back but actually something that could be useful is i'm gonna make a variable let me get backdrop number and i'm going to set backdrop number to backdrop number so i can just always know what number i'm on 36 so now that we're on 36 i'm gonna right click duplicate and make one for the right 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 and now make already clicked right i'm gonna switch all that to that and now i have to do right click duplicate and make one more or right in there in there get rid of this and put that in there now it should probably be working but i'm also gonna need to make one for each one of these from this so Right click duplicate. I'm gonna have to set it to 34. And then make it up no. And then right click duplicate and make right. This one's gonna be 36. This one's gonna be 37. This one's gonna be 38. Actually, no, 37. 38, 39. And then this one's gonna be 40. And I'm just gonna need to just have a 1 plus this number because it's inaccurate by 1. Now we are all good. So I kinda wanna test it out. This bam, 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 bam. Hold on, there's something wrong with the error in one of these. Oh, I messed up the error for the entire thing. Yay. Yay. Now we're all fixed. I'm gonna organize this a little bit better, so I'm gonna put that like that, put this here, you guys there, you can just stick here, I guess. Well, you guys are gonna be finished up here. Now I'm gonna go through and make all of them. This is gonna be painful. So far it's working great, which I'm really happy about. Now the last step is just to make the game a little bit longer because this is quite boring. I'll catch you when I'm finished. Okay, after so much time, it's finally done. And now we have to go on this coding monster. Oh no. no.
and I think we're finally done. I'm gonna set the score to just up here because I like it to be even. And now let's play our game. For that, I hope my game doesn't crash because this is the amount of code I have to have. It keeps going. I can even zoom out that far. Like, look at all of that and all of this up here. And now we can get to the game. Oh, I kind of sucked at that, but whatever. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it doesn't really work when they're all compact like that, but just normally it works pretty fine. And so that's going to be the entire video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.